What's going on guys? My name is Tony and due to a ton of people asking me how I achieved the boomerang effect, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do that in Final Cut Pro right now. And just because, you know, uh, I'm doing this in Final Cut Pro, it doesn't mean you can't do it in any other editing software. Um, the same concept still applies to whether you're using DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro or whatever you choose. Um, Final Cut Pro is just what I've always used in the past and what I was stuck with and it works well with me. I like the layout and everything else. Um, I actually shot this with the GoPro Hero 7 Black in time warp mode. So you can see that's the time warp feature right there. So it's already fast, but we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments to it and speed it up. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and then select the clip and go ahead and expand the timeline by pressing Command M plus on the keyboard just to make everything more clear for us. Um, what we're going to do is go to the very beginning of the clip and we're going to go over a few frames about right there and hit shift B on the keyboard that brings up the speed blade tool. Go to the end of the timeline and do the same thing. Go back a few frames and shift B. So we're going to go ahead and grab this line right here and we're going to pull it back. And what this is going to do is going to shrink the timeline, but it's also at the same time going to make the clip in the inner portion of the clip a lot faster. So let's go ahead and Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger, so Command Plus, so I can see a little bit more. Okay, so let's go down to, let's try 600% and see how that looks. Actually, let's go to 650. Okay, let's let it render. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, so that actually looks pretty decent. So you can see how it starts off slow, it goes faster towards the center, and then fades off slow again. That's what we want. Now, what you can do from here is you can go ahead and add any kind of music or sound effects you like. What I did was I found this uh, hard rain um, sound effect within Final Cut Pro. And uh, I'm going to drag that down here. Let's see. And I'm going to cut it right here with the speed blade or with the blade tool. So be on the keyboard. We'll cut that and delete this last part. So what I'm going to do is fade it in about right there and we're also going to fade it out about right there so let's see what that looks like yeah so that's actually what we're looking for okay cool all right so we're going to go ahead and once we have this whole clip we're going to select everything and then we're going to right click and say new compound clip this mainly just puts everything together and it makes it a lot cleaner so everything's compressed in this one clip now all right, so we're gonna go ahead and copy this clip, Command C, and then we're gonna paste it, Command V. So the second clip here is exactly identical to what we just have. So what we're gonna do with the second clip is we're gonna go to this little timer button right here and hit reverse clip. All right, let's let it render. All right, let's check it out and see what we have. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So that is the boomerang effect. Let's go ahead and select both these clips together. Right click and new compound clip. And that puts everything together for us into one main clip. Just like that. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video to be useful in any way, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. If you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.